Well, his karma yoga was going well, and after three nights of sleeping and eating with the extended family of Peace Ali on their carpets, uh, well, he said, it's not the first uh, first day on the job anymore. And uh, and before dawn, he, he gets up, you know, at 4 a.m., and he likes to wander through the Grand Bazaar of Kandahar. Oh, look at those caravans of camels, one tied to the one behind them, Baluchi nomads coming into the bazaar. Mm, lovely. Yeah, the morning, the pre-dawn, still dark. The cool, mysterious time of day. Yeah. Well, on his morning walkabout, uh, Sphinx, uh, he passes the, uh, the the remnants of a collapsed building, yeah, a mud and brick uh, heap of rubble there, and on top of that rubble uh, lives Zambar, an Islamic yogi. I'm alone. He's got a hookah up there, and uh, he holds court. <laughs> yeah. Zambar, dedicated hashish smoker, yeah, uh, forsaken uh, family life. <laughs> um, no fixed abode. Stupid to have a fixed abode. You can be, you can be targeted, and you got to maintain it, huh? Rubble just does its own thing for free. Oh, well, Zambara radiates with joy. Ah, aura, light, sunny, sure, unchained. From capitalistic society, I mean, how chained are you right now? Your landlord's trying to evict you. You've had COVID-19. You're $7,000 behind on your rent. You better buy a tent from Walmart and find a parking lot to live in. Oh. Well, uh, Sphinx. Oh, yeah, Zambar. Oh, well, he just, you know, he throws him up a, a hit of a Sunshine Barrel LSD. Zambar looks down at him like, what's this? So Sphinx motions, you know. After, okay, Zambar gulps it down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, still dark outside. Yeah, Kandahar. Kind of waking up. He strolls uh, nonchalantly. He's in a caftan. I mean, when he's out, he wears this Chinese caftan outfit. Room sweeper disguised as a patang, you know, the baggy stuff. Um, it's twisting into the bazaar. And uh, he pauses. Oh, the Oxiana Bakery and Tea House. Well, Peace Ali told him to try to find it because uh, uh, his first cousin runs it, Aladdin. Oh, so uh, Finks introduced himself to Aladdin. The first cousins. They're both dwarfs. Yeah, uh, well, uh, it's a typical Patan tea house, a raised platform facing the street, and uh, Aladdin sits cross legged so he can simultaneously bake bread and serve tea from his fancy uh, uh, samovar. Samovar, originally from Azerbaijan. Yeah, it's a. Uh, Often highly decorated contraption. <laughs> it's got a spigot, a little spigot at the bottom. Why? Because they boil water in a samovar. So they have boiling water to pour in their teapots to make tea. And how do they heat the water? They have a coal charcoal fire under the samovar. Yeah, well, it's vented with, a, you know, cylindrical pipe up through the ceiling, coals from a wood fire below it. And uh, the other significant item, you run a bakery and a tea house, is a, um, a clay oven to break that unleavened, but funny, Afghan non. You ever have tandoori chicken? Do you see how those... They've slapped the chicken up inside this huge clay urn. 
to just make it juicy and succulent and drippy, and I would like some right now. Yeah, imagine a sort of a Grecian large urn for water, and uh, yeah, under which burns a charcoal fire, and to bake unleavened whole wheat bread. The baker puts a wad of uh, flour dough on a buttered wooden paddle, kind of like a canoe paddle, but with a very little square end to it, and he inserts the paddle, oh, here he goes, inside the rounded clay urn, under the floor, and it's a masterful down and under movement. You got to see this to believe it. This movement, this down and under, slab that little bit of, of, of uh, a dough on the inside of a Grecian urn buried under your floor, And then skillfully, he's got. Then, then after a few minutes, he puts the paddle back in, and he skillfully coaxes. It's now an, an, an oblong of of, of naan. He, he got to get it off the oven, and he does it. And then he throws it onto a pile on a well, it's a tarnished a silver tray. Stacks of naan. I mean, it's it's going to be dawn soon. He's got to stack up his naan. Well, Sphinx uh, introduces himself to Aladdin. Mm. 